This is a lesson about tariff systems. When we are working with tariff systems, you will many times find the tariff in a typical table such as the one that I'm showing you here. We use the tariff systems table to determine, for example, the cost of electricity that we are going to pay or the cost of water that we're going to pay. If you look in this table that I'm showing you, you will see it is a typical table showing how you will pay for electricity that you are using. Now let us just first try to understand the table before we do an example. What you will see is that you pay for electricity in terms of the kilowatt hours that you are using. Um, the kilowatt hour serves then as a unit, if I can say so, for paying for electricity. Now the table works as follows. You will see that if you use electricity from between 0 and 50 kilowatt hour, that for that bracket we pay a, an amount of 0 0.7986 uh, rand or 79.86 cents. When we are working with tariffs, it is very important that you must know that we must work with the full tariff when we are going to do our calculations and that we must not round this one, for example, off in our calculations to 0 rand 80. Okay, we keep it at this stage with all the digits in place. If you look in the second bracket, you will see that for all electricity that you use between 51 and 350 kilowatt hours, you pay a, hour, a higher amount. That is 1 rand 7.55 cents that you are then paying. If you go even further to 351 to 600 kilowatt hours, you will see the amount per kilowatt hour get even more. Now the reason why this is happening is because we want people to save electricity. Hence people who use less electricity will end up paying a, a lower rate per kilowatt hour. Those who are using a lot of electricity end up paying the higher rates per the same kilowatt hour. Let us do an example. You will see here I've got for you a scenario where Marizal who stay in Bethlehem and she uses prepaid electricity. The tariffs for prepaid electricity in the Dichla Bank municipality are, and Bethlehem is in the Dichla Bank municipality, it is given in the table here. If Marcel uses 45 kilowatt hour of electricity, how much is he going to pay for that? You will see 45 kilowatt hour in what bracket does it lie? If you go here to the first bracket, you will see 45 kilowatt hour is bigger than zero but smaller than 50, meaning that it is lying in this first bracket. Now, if it lies there, it simply means that the cost that she's going to pay will be 45 kilowatt hour and the price per kilowatt hour is then 79,86, um, you can say that is Nordrand 79,86 per kilowatt hour. And if we work that out, let us go and calculate 45 times 0. Point um, seven, nine, eight, six. You will see that the answer in this case is now not yet rounded to three decimal numbers. Because remember, I said when it comes to tariff systems, we use all the decimal numbers. When we are going to do our calculation, we do use all the decimal numbers. It's only now in the final answer that I'm going to round off to two decimal numbers. And in this case, since the 7 is bigger than a 5, it is able to make the 3 a 4. In other words, when I round off, I get 35 rand and 94 cents for the total that that electricity is going to cost.
Let us look at another example. And we say now Maricel is, going, is using 240 kilowatt of hour of electricity during a particular month. Where is this 240 kilowatt hour? If you look, you will see it is bigger than 51, but it is smaller than 350. So it lies in the second bracket here somewhere. But there is now a catch. The thing is that I am going to pay for the first 50 kilowatt hour this rate. And for the 51 to 350 kilowatt hour, I'm going to pay a higher rate. So first I'm going to work out what is to be paid for this first 50 kilowatt hour. And I do that by saying 50 kilowatt hour um, times 0, 0,7986 rand per kilowatt hour. And if I do work that out, and I go to the calculator, and I say 50 times 0 0.7986, I get a total of 39 rand and 93 cents. Fortunately, it is already rounded off to two decimal numbers. Now, that is what I will pay for the first 50 kilowatt hour. But Marazal has used 240 kilowatt hour. She has already paid that amount for the first 50 kilowatt hour. Then, there is still a certain amount that she must pay for um, the next uh, amount of kilowatt hours that she's using. Now to determine how much kilowatt hours of the second bracket she is using, we take the 240 kilowatt hour and we subtract the 50 that we already paid for. We already paid for the 50 kilowatt hour this rate, so for the next 190 kilowatt hour, I'm going to pay another rate, the higher rate, the rate as it is given here in the second bracket. I get the 190 by subtracting 50 from 240. Now, I must finally say, if I have 190 kilowatt hour, and this 190 kilowatt hour, I'm paying a rate of 1 rand 0 0.755 per kilowatt hour. My answer will be 190 times 1.0755. Remember, I use the whole tariff in my calculation and I get an amount of. 204 red. And now you will see my answer is again up to three decimal numbers. Let us just round off. If that number there is five or bigger, I know that that five or bigger number can then make this four the next number. And if I round off, I get 204 rand 30. Five cents. That is what I will pay for the next 190 kilowatt hour. So, in total, what is it that I will pay for all of this electricity? For the first kilowatt, 50 kilowatt hour, I will pay 39 rand, 93 cents. For the next 190 kilowatt hour, I will pay 204 rand. 35. And this gives me then a total of 244 rand 28 cents. Let us just check on the calculator. I'm going to clear it here. We have 39.93 plus 204 rand.
and the total that I get is 244 rand 28 cents.